Good morning, hello, my name is Daniel, this is the Triathlon Dan YouTube channel. You join me this morning from Darley Moor Sports Centre where I'm at some quick races organised by House Race Team. There's a lot of racing on today, there's a fourth cat race, fourth cat open race currently out on circuit. There is then a open 3-4 which I've entered and then an E123 which I've entered. House do a cool thing where if you, if you want to do a second race on the day it's only a tenner so I just thought well I'm already here, I feel okay, there's low wind it's worth a shot for a tenner isn't it so even if I get dropped after lap one I just want to give it a go I'm beginning to appreciate making the most of every opportunity so like the fact that I'm here today feeling relatively fit and healthy I might as well so that's the plan and then there's a women's uh, I can't remember if it's a 3-4 or 2-3-4 after this. Another race, basically, anyway. So a full day of racing. Uh, I've also got six teammates here today. I say teammates. We're in the same club. We're not a proper race team, but it's cool to have some mates like in the bunch that we ride with. So maybe we'll try and do some sort of team tactics. I don't really know. It never really works when we plan that. But yeah, look forward to going and saying hi to the guys. I need to put the cameras on my bike, get my tyres pumped up, and a few things to do. And I've got about 40 minutes before the race starts. So I need to go and get cracking. So I'll just walk out here to show you the circuit. Um, the circuit is about about 2k in total it's flat it's actually quite low winds today which is weird for Darlingmore so I'm sure there will be a wind out on the circuit but nowhere near as bad as it has been so interested to see how that affects race dynamics and the 3-4 is a big race there's about 60 riders signed on already so it's gonna be it's gonna be big morning chaps this is about 30% of the team today Wayne and Lee how are we feeling tired <laughs> <laughs> what's up with you I saw this triathlon training mate I'm swimming every night <laughs> Lee, burning the candle at both ends. Lee texted me at the beginning of this week his swimming plan and it was like well, it was like you were swimming every day yeah. I read it and I thought oh that's too much swimming for me is it going well? got to get better mate the <laughs> only way to get better is to do it isn't it? have you seen Hugo Milner? I haven't shall uh, I ask him for some tips? yeah well he is here today and he said he might try and get his third cap today I don't know if he knows you can only get 10 points when you win you need 12 but uh, he's ready to get stuck in I said look Hugo I'll be your teammate if you want he was like yes Dan finally I've been waiting for you to ask so it's a <laughs> Wayne we're ready yeah I think so yeah we'll see won't we yeah every race we've done here so far this year has been windy as hell hasn't it so today's a bit different that it's not that windy so look forward to seeing how that affects the race dynamics and we have we have seven riders now for South Norton uh, Something like that. Big turnout. Yeah, six of us. And we've got a free entry because you get five entries, you get one free one. So we obviously love that. He's anyway, having the free one. Dean had it signed on, uh, didn't he? Nice. I know. I thought he'd get a round of coffees in, to be honest, but yeah. <laughs> obviously not. Anyway, we're going to try and get back. Oh, Wayne, you'll be glad to know, Anne Lee. I've got a new skin suit that you can't see my bum through. A bit disappointing. Yeah. <laughs> I won't be riding behind you as much now then. <laughs> Oh dear. As is always the case, I find myself not having very much time at all before these races. I'd love to do loads and loads of logging, dribbling, but um, just not possible. Right. Bike is ready. I am ready. New skin suit and aero bridge underlayer. No excuses. Um, it is, however, perhaps not the most flattering for me and my little man boobs, but aero over looks. Uh, we look forward to this. A few of the guys are feeling feeling quite good. We're don't want to get too excited but there's 50 odd riders in the race like it's a big race for us standard wise it's going to be similar to any other third and fourth cap but in terms of racing in a big field like this is this is cool so looking forward to getting stuck in i'm going to try and use my smarts and not go too early too soon thinking about if I, i've got another race afterwards but uh, let's have some fun let's get stuck in so um yeah let's go It's so tempting, isn't it? Oh. <laughs>
Oh, okay, races done and dusted. I don't have time in between races to talk about them, but Lee is here. <clears throat> Lee, how was your race? Uh, I, I thought it was a lot easier than some of the races I've done here before. Um, I definitely saved my legs. Um, I was looking for decisive moves and I didn't really feel any of them were. I only went on the attack once when something looked dangerous mm -hmm. and it got bought back almost immediately. Uh, and sure enough, nothing stayed away. Mm -hmm. Um, I was positioned maybe about second or third wheel with like three laps to go and I stayed up there because I didn't want to get swamped and um, I had to do quite a lot of work to stay there I was following the attacks on my own but I just didn't want to get boxed in because I wanted to have a go at the sprint but when it came to the sprint I just didn't quite have the legs so I could see the front I could taste it but I came away with seven what Lee's saying is he needed a teammate in those last three laps just to close those gaps for him. I think so, yeah, just to shield me a little bit. Sorry, it was dead hard. Um, I spent the first 20, 25 minutes on the bike just trying to conserve as much energy as I could. I was looking at what speed we were averaging. We averaged like 27 and a half miles an hour, didn't yeah, we? So It was fast but <clears> easy, wasn't it? Yes, exactly. But it's it's easy in the bunch, but to do 27 and a half miles an hour off the front is hard. So I was like, well, there's no point attacking because I'm not going to stay away. So I waited until like 35 minutes and moved up a bit so you can start seeing like what's happening. Because when you're at the back, you can't even see anything. And as I moved up, um, a guy attacked like in front of me. So I was like, okay. So I just went with him and we got away for a lap, a lap in a bit, but just got brought back and I put a fair bit of energy into that but he was quite a lot smaller than me wasn't he when I was on his wheel I just wasn't really getting any shelter yeah. I was sat at like 350 on his wheel and we got caught I said I said well done he didn't tell me well done so maybe wasn't too happy with how I rode I know but um and then I think the only other like proper attack I had there was one ride up the road and I it, it lulled a bit so I attacked brought a few people with me nearly got to the ride and then realized it was Wayne Dean showed me that that's one of ours so sorry Wayne I did contribute towards bringing you back he was off the front solo but you can't see when somebody's like 200 meters away and I hadn't been close enough to see Wayne make that attack but that's bike racing isn't it and then I didn't I, I tried to move up the last two or three laps but every time I sort of tried to move up it was I was getting gassed pretty easily so I knew that when I got to the front I wouldn't really have anything in hindsight I think I should have probably tried a bit harder to get there to try and be of some help to you but I just I just didn't back myself to be of any use and I feel like it's it's worrying to like go right get to the front right Lee follow me and then to leave you with some more to do than plan so. it's, there's you know it's easy to coulda woulda shoulda yeah I mean to be honest Hugo Milner was doing quite a good job of keeping yeah. the pace high for the last few laps so yeah well done Hugo he likes yeah, chasing thank every, you. every single attack doesn't he yeah he was like our sort of unofficial teammate <laughs> well I think he's our teammate he's sponsored by Hoob yeah and Lee is now technically sponsored by Hoob because they sent, you, they sent yeah. you a new wetsuit to use for your gravel sprint yes, next week can't wait <laughs> so yeah we're teammates with Hugo nice absolutely. one absolutely uh, and then I did the E123 I say did I lasted 28 minutes before I got dropped but there was just no recovery in it it was full it was on the whole time and it was only half an hour in between races i don't think i did enough riding in between the races i should have kept spinning around a bit but i just felt a bit like sluggish from the start but i got into it and i trying to conserve energy and trying to follow the wheels and so on but we'd averaged like I think I averaged 28.6 miles an hour on that one so and I normally was like 320 watts and after having already raced for an hour it's tough but it was only a tenner I lasted half an hour a bit more training in the bank so dead happy that I did it and uh, I think I've even tempted Lean to do it next time so. Liz did tell me she'd be over the moon if you could last half an hour <laughs> <laughs> she can but dream mate she can but dream <laughs> anyway on that note I'm going to end today's video there thank you very much for watching Lee's going to be on the channel next weekend because we are supposed to be going head to head at the Outlaw Gravel we Sprint are. but we'll see how that goes and we're going head to head with swim coach Ash as well oh yeah forget about Ash and Helen yes uh, who else my group's doing that's what it is isn't it uh, that I can remember yeah, right now. So. Yeah. so yeah, look forward to that. Anyway, Lee, thank you for coming out racing today. Oh, cheers, Dan, and um, well done in the E123. It did look pretty difficult. So thanks. I'll make anything you know, look difficult. Uh, but at least you like gave it a go, yeah. which is more than can be said for the rest of the SNCC fraternity. <laughs> Somebody did shout me if I was Paul. Um, Go on, you can bridge that and I, when I dropped off the back of like a 30 second gap. <laughs> so anyway, it's all good fun. Right, see you later. See you later.